Hi everyone, it's Dave here and I just wanted to share with you a little bit more about the uh, tripod that you're going to be getting for the Languages Film Festival. It's the Benro KH25N, fantastic tripod for its price. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the features of this tripod. It's a fluid head uh, as well, so you've got um, the uh, panning locking nut here. Uh, just by adjusting that will either lock it or allow for freedom in your panning. So I can pan to the right in a nice fluid motion or I can pan over here to the left. Okay. And this tripod does that quite well. Uh, up the top here you've got the tilt locking nut which will allow you to go down or up in a nice tilting motion as well. You've also got down here the nut for the ball head which will allow you to uh, unlock that and then move the head around on the tripod um, and adjust it how you feel necessary. If you have a look around here on the other side there is a uh, spirit bubble there uh, and by just moving that bubble into the middle and then locking it off um, you'll be able to get everything level. Okay, another feature I like about this tripod is that it's metal construction here around the um, video arm. So you can take this um, off if you want, I won't do it now, but um, you could take that off uh, depending on what hand you prefer to use. So if you prefer to use the right hand, obviously you keep it on this side. If you prefer to use your left hand when filming, uh, you can take that off and move it to here. So being metal means it's going to be more durable and uh, it's going to wear a lot better. Um, this is one place on some of the cheaper tripods that uh, wear really quickly and then you have a really loose arm or it doesn't work all together. So uh, really good for this tripod. Uh, another feature on the tripod is um, the attachment plate. Okay, so if I show you the attachment plate here, uh, you have this locking nut here. Uh, that will allow it to slide up and down. So when that's locked off, obviously the tripod, uh, the locking plate, sorry, uh, does not move. So I'll just lock that. You can see it doesn't move. When you unlock, um, that plate will slide up and down. And if you have a look here, there is a uh, button that you have to press, which is the lock. So by loosening here and pushing that button and pushing the plate backwards, okay, it will come off and then. Uh, allow you to um, attach uh, the the mount or another camera uh, using the quarter inch screw there uh, to do that. Probably the, the one thing I don't like about this this tripod is uh, this part here. Okay, so it doesn't have any uh, way of screwing uh, the screw onto the quarter inch screw onto uh, your mount or camera you actually have to use a coin or a key or some other kind of um, mechanism to put into that slot and then turn and twist it uh, to, to tighten that. So let's have a look. Um, see a really nice sturdy case. Uh, it's got some nice blue padding. Uh, this is going to help protect your tripod and obviously when it gets moved around um, the case is going to be very handy. Um, quite good. Most tripods at this price don't have a, a bag either, so that's a really good point to note. Um, really good, impressed with that. Uh, let's have a look at the tripod itself. So it's all metal construction. Uh, there's a few plastic components on it, but generally speaking, most of it is um, metal, uh, which will pr provide some longevity, especially with student use. Generally, don't get that in a tripod of this price range as well. So you've got all metal construction. There's a few plastic components with the, the clips and the feet and so on. But generally speaking, most of the uh, construction of this tripod is metal, which is great. Which means it's going to be nice and durable, and uh, it's going to cop all the punishment that the kids will throw at this uh, in its use. So uh, let's have a look at some of the features. Uh, you've got these little plastic clips here that will just help unlock the legs uh, and helps to lock the tripod as well when uh, it's being stored. You've got on the uh, ends of the tripod you've got these rubber feet okay, which can be adjusted to reveal a more of a pointy spike and uh, depending on the surface that you're filming on you might find that you need the spikes to dig in a little bit or you might just want to 
use the rubber ends uh, if it's a slippery floor and so on. Uh, in most cases, I'd imagine you'll just be using the rubber. Move to 90 degrees just while I open it and then tighten that back up. And then basically it's a matter of opening up your, your tripod legs like so, okay? So once you've got it um, open, uh, don't just assume that students know how to use tripods either. This is something that you explicitly need to teach them. Uh, in most cases, kids will never have opened or used a tripod before, and um, you need to show them how to do that. Okay, so I've just opened it um, to extend the legs. Uh, there's a few ways of doing it. I always like to start with the bottom ones first. Okay, um, so just unscrewing here and here. Okay, um, that will release the locking and then you can just pretty much drag your tripod legs up, clip them in if you need to, tighten up again, and so on. Now that you've done that, you've got a really sturdy um, tripod. You may feel like you need to go higher. Okay, this tripod will go to a maximum height of, uh, I think it's 1500, 1.5 meters which is plenty you very rarely would you extend your tripod to this height and film with it but uh, if you need to we can see how high it does go okay so that is the tripod you're getting in the languages kit uh, if you've got any questions around how to use it or uh, any problems with it please let myself or grant know more than happy to help uh, and uh, enjoy filming